What's up, A-listers, and uh, welcome to a little tutorial video for how to use the Monster Hunter World uh, Content Creator Studio. Uh, as you can see on the bottom right-hand side, we got our little Content Creator Studio. Uh, it is a little... It's a little extension from my Day Night mod, and I've included a free cam, a perspective cam, uh, you know, where you change the distances between them. Uh, anyway, let's get started. So when you download this mod, you need to make sure you check your INI file. Now the INI file has settings in there that you'll need to review and uh, you'll need to go to it, I'll leave it down in the link below, but the virtual keys, and you can set up your virtual keys to however you want them. But the default settings uh, for this mod, you can see, you know, left and right is to go left and right, or sorry, for four and six is to go left and right. Uh, this is to go forward is number eight, back is number two, uh, down is the altitude, seven is uh, the altitude to go up, and then the divide and asterisk sign is to change the distance um, for your camera perspective for perspective cam and then the minus and plus is for the height for perspective cam now there's different modes there is free cam perspective cam and then the camera settings and then oh and there's also first person cam so let's go ahead and get started right now we can see on the uh, the application it says restart process it shows you this because right now we're in the title screen so what you want to make sure is, is that when you're in the game you want to make sure that this application is actually running once you're on a stage so let's go ahead and hide this thing because we don't need this right now just remember that we need the INI file if you want to change the buttons if you don't like the numpad or if you don't have a numpad but I have a numpad and I like to use the numpad Okay, so now that we're in the stage, right? Um, what we want to do, because I opened it up on the title screen, I want to restart the process. So it should give me some new numbers. And if it and if it works, you can hit zero, and then you can go into free cam. But for some reason, it's not acting up. If that is the case, go ahead and close it out, open it back up, and we should get some new values. Let me update this. Is it showing up? There we go. Cool. Alright. So now we have free cam. Yep. Cool. So you'll have to restart the application. Um, I might just need to fix that restart little button. But let's go over here. Let's check this out. So again, zero on the numpad, we enable free cam. And this is the, um, where we can actually like go around and look everywhere. And the, you see that the camera position is static. We can go up, get an amazing view of the gathering hub. And you probably get the best results with a controller as far as the mouse input goes, because mine's a little janky. But uh, let's go ahead and reset it. Now there's also perspective mod or perspective mode, which is the camera setting. So if you go out forward, you can see that the camera like kind of yoinks a little bit. And this is mostly for um, setting the camera in a certain position that follows your character. So in this instance, we can go around and look like this. And this would be great for like changing uh, the way you play if you're like you know a bow user or you know any kind of weapon really and then for free cam we can see that the camera is static and it doesn't follow the player but if we want we can take a look it's more like the Resident Evil vibe so let's go ahead and remove this one and then uh, first person mode we want to move around in first person mode it's pretty cool um, 
And then the camera settings, we can see here, let's say if I wanna change my distance to minus 300, let's go ahead and do that. And then we can see that my distance that's set to 300, if we set it to minus 500, Now you can see that my distance changed. So you can live change it. And then again, you'll need to go back to the the INI file if you want to swap it out. Let me go back to that, which the INI file is right there. So open it up. It's on the way bottom. Just change the settings to whatever camera distance you want it set to, like how you have it here. If you want a minus 500, just change it to minus 500. All right, let's go ahead and move this back out. Okay, cool. All right, so now let's take this to an actual map so we can see, let's see. Change my weapon real quick. And you also get the best results in, in a wide open stage if you're going to go really far, like do like a Diablo mode where you know how the camera is really high and the character is like really small. So let's say uh, I want to go ahead and free cam it. We can go ahead and see if there's any monsters up in the way, you know, before I go. <laughs> Get a little nice immersive view. You can still change the uh, the day night settings. It's like if I want, it's nighttime right now, right? We can change it to the daylight, which doesn't look so very great when it's really foggy. So we can change it to uh, dusk or dawn, but I like dusk better. It's got nice color, especially with the fog on. And then we, you know, we can just look around, enjoy it, maybe maybe film it so you can have it as a background for a desktop or something. That'd be kind of cool. Oh look, there's Narga. All right, let's go say hi to Narga. So I'm gonna change my perspective cam. And then you can see with the camera collision, it changes a little bit, so it just takes a little bit to get used to. But we can see if we shoot, it kind of follows it. change out of perspective. Let's go to first person mode. Oh, I ran out. Whoop. So too close. This is going to be weird. <laughs> I'm not sure how this is going to work in free cam.
But yeah, you get the picture. So uh, go out there, have a little fun. Make some cool videos. Make some custom content. Uh, be sure to link the mod in your videos. That way people know, you know, where you can get this cool mod. Uh, I plan on doing some, um, like, not adjustments, but, like, new features. I plan on figuring out how to uh, follow a monster, like, automatically, because there's a target. There's some target coordinates that I can figure out. Uh, I just need to pull up the table where the monsters are. And then there's uh, there's an idea of making a rail cam so you can set specific points in the map. And then you can just move the camera, change the angle as you go about. But, yeah. You can see Jagras is... Uh, being a little weird over here. What's he doing? What's he doing? Can't even hear him. <laughs> but alright, thank you guys. Um, I'll be sure to leave the links down below. If you have any questions, uh, just read the FAQ in the mod page. And have a good one.